welcome to Selika Mag. Subscribe for more tutorials. Uh, I'm your swing instructor Sara. I have three years of diploma and uh, nine plus years of uh, teaching experience of these skills. And today we are going to learn uh, this tied or layer dress. Uh, easy tutorial, step by step instruction with um, elastic. How you can put elastic and all these things. Especially um, beginners can also follow this um, easy tutorial. So let's start. I have this beautiful fabric that uh, I receive as a gift. And uh, see here, just uh, do some calculations. Uh, your tight skirt or a layered skirt will look like this this skirt also you can make your with your dress as well just make a body and make a dress but here we are only making a, a skirt so whatever is your waist you have to double the waist like for example your waist is uh, 24 so here you can make 48 then next block is um bigger than this first block a uh, half you can double the half and then again the third block is double the half i will explain you no problem and here length you can uh, take according to your choice here i'm making uh, for my seven year old daughter and see i'm making it a little big so um i guess uh, i'm uh, taking here the 18 inch length uh, for this skirt and you can take from this uh, any dress or you can measure uh, um, on the body so here i'm taking it 18 so 18 divided by 3 is 6 and uh, one inch on each part i'm going to add for the swing loss so each part length is seven inches here hope uh, it makes sense and uh, the width as i told you first uh, layer width is double the um, waistline so here my waistline is 24 so I double it so it become 48 okay so here you can see this is 12 means double is uh, 24 and then I double this so it become 48 so my first layer is 48 width wise and length wise 7 inches so this is the very first uh, um, piece of fabric that i need for this skirt and i'm not going to make the body only this part so let's start uh, cutting you can use your length as a width and width as a length as well because obviously you don't have uh, too much uh, um, wider fabric and um, uh, in other case you have to join the um i mean join the pieces but here no join in the piece so that's why i'm just taking length of the fabric as a width uh, if any doubt any question you can ask me in the comment and if you like this tutorial just uh, press a thumbs up it will really help me to make more videos and see this is my first uh, um, layer that is 48 and here i'm just making a um, a marking a cut and this is the width of my fabric but here i'm taking length that is seven inches for this uh, layer so just mark here the seven inch and as it this is a cotton fabric so you can tear the cotton fabric easily just make here a cut and you can slash it very easily um see this is your marking and just make here a cut and tear it like this lengthwise cotton will never go wrong but widthwise you have to cut it with the scissor so this is a easy way to cut your fabric and uh, after that just separate this piece so this is very first piece um 7 inch length 48 inch width uh, okay oh and then uh, i also add two inches um in this for the elastic and, th and that's why this my very first uh, piece is actually uh, nine inches okay guys so this first is a uh, piece was uh, nine inches um 
lengthwise now the next piece will be seven because uh, we don't have to add any uh, elastic so here you can uh, uh, um, make the half more like uh, if it's 48 you can plus 24 in this and you will get like uh, 72 so my next uh, measurement is 72 lengthwise um, width wise and lengthwise uh, 7 inches okay so uh, let me repeat it again that my first uh, first piece uh, is um, 9 inches because I add 2 inches for the elastic now my second piece length is 7 inches okay and now see you can see here 72 and I'm just going to cut this and uh, here also same way you can do it 7 inches okay because we don't need any uh, elastic here and 1 inches is for the seam long so actual um, length will be uh, 6 inches after stitching okay so I'm doing it um, step by step because beginners can also follow it very easily because the concepts are new for them so see I have two pieces now we will gather it later and now just come to the third piece again 72 plus 24 so you will get uh, I think 96 you will get so my next uh, piece is 96 and um, width wise and length wise again 7 inches so this is three layered uh, or three tied um, skirt you can make more layers more tight um, just by doing uh, following same method there is no hard and fast rule for the length and the width uh, but obviously your first width be double of your waist and then you can increase the width as much you want your flare so you can play with all this and uh, this is the designing part okay so now see i have these three pieces uh, step by step these are long uh, longer you can see okay so now i'm on my ironing board and just you have to this is my first piece that has actually nine inches rather than seven inches because i have to fold this for the elastic so you can also check the uh, width of your elastic and you can fold it uh, and don't skip this pressing part otherwise you will not get, uh, get the neat result so here on very edge you have to stitch for this elastic and see that's how on very edge um, and as a beginner start with slow speed okay so now my this thing is done now the other Part, I'm going to make here the um, gathers so let me show you how you can um, attach and put the gathers so here as you can see you uh, one method is you can um, um, you can uh, increase the um, length of your stitch or otherwise you can uh, tight your um, tight your uh, tension dial so when you uh, tight your tension dial your fabric will automatically start getting see this is a very basic machine but it will give you automatic uh, gathers see so this is the one way you can do other way is just make a, a longer stitch and then um, after that just take a thread like this uh, separate these uh, Two threads uh, with a pin and then see that's how you have to separate these two stitches and then just hold one um, thread and move your fabric don't uh, pull your thread otherwise your thread will break beginners do this mistake very um, so much that don't uh, pull your thread only just gently move your fabric it will take some time but uh, you will get the perfect gathers so this is the two ways of uh, putting the gathers now um, 
we have to attach this first part to first part first part and second part see that's how you have to take it right side on the right side and here also mark the center of this uh, fabric and uh, attach side with the side or take some time at this step because if you skip this step, uh, step when you directly go to the machine you will uh, be end up in some mistake like some part is bigger and some is smaller so take some time adjust all the gathers all gathers should be equal on all the way and that's how you have to place your fabric on your machine here also keep in mind that these two edges are equal and here these two edges should be equal as well if anything is not equal your um your gather will be visible on the other side see so every time you have to um, adjust it don't cons consider it a straight uh, stitch and just uh, do it like zzz. no just uh, hold on um, uh, make uh, four five six stitches and then stop then adjust your fabric and then go uh, again five six stitches that's how you have to handle your fabric otherwise you will end up to make some mistakes so see that's how every time you have to set the gathers because there is gathers and you have to manage this see now how beautifully these gathers are done and um, see only secret is uh, the little patience and uh, see now at this step you can also iron your uh, fabric now same uh, method we will apply for the third layer and then i will show you how you can insert the elastic okay so for third also i'm going to do same see uh, just by tighten your uh, tension dial how uh, beautifully i get my gathers no need to spend extra time on this so this is very useful tip you can apply this on any machine if you have white machines at home you can also do but uh, as a beginner i won't recommend you that <laughs> place uh, so much with your tension because you have to um, manage it back or uh, to the normal tension and it will take some time uh, to understand as a beginner uh, that how tension play your role now i'm going to stitch this straight line here but make sure from the edge it should be equal and uh, my uh, edge is bind so i prefer to start it from the uh, down and see now this is the elastic one way you can round it according to uh, uh, around your waist the other way is just take your waist measurement here it's uh, 24 let's say and i will minus four inches from that 24 so my um, it will become 20 and uh, almost half inch you can take it as a, a seam allowance because here we will stitch it so this is the other way um, just minus four inches also it depend that how much is your um, elastic has uh, tight or loose so you can adjust accordingly now i'm just inserting this elastic inside it and after that we will fix it uh, and uh, make sure that it's not twisted it any part so just after quickly i uh, finish this i will go to uh, my machine again and will stitch this guys if you like this video please uh, thumbs up uh, it will cost you nothing but it will really support me to make more videos and uh, don't forget to uh, hit the bell icon and uh, so every time i will upload a video you can uh, get notifications and see here you will stitch like this i'm also planning to make a beautiful top for this skirt so don't uh, miss that also see here make sure all edges are equal here it it uh, will take some time to adjust this so when you are sure that this is elastic is not twisted now you can just uh, mark here a, st a stitch something like this okay and uh, now after stitching see this is now stitched now again adjust your elastic uh, properly 
and uh, after that we will stitch this opening you can stitch it by hand or by machine this opening and uh, make it equal and uh, make it overlap um, the opening and i will prefer to stitch this opening by hand so it will not visible and then here you can make two three four stitches but uh, you can skip this part see that's how you can make more uh, stitches to make it more secure or make it more beautiful so it depends that what shape actually you want but i'm not doing anything and here also you can hem it like just fold it and um stitch it so this beautiful three tied um, or three layered skirt is ready and i will um sure make a top for this uh, beautiful uh, skirt so don't uh, forget to subscribe and thank you so much for watching Selika mag thank you bye bye take care